OK, so what I do is we're trying to use the difference formula to evaluate um, for the tangent of 225 minus the tangent of 30. So the main important thing is what we need to do is we have our formula written up here. We just need to make sure we can evaluate for what exactly of tan of u is and tan of e. So the first thing I always like to do is just you know label what our u and our v are. So say 225 degrees is going to be our u, and 30 degrees is going to be our v. So what we need to do is evaluate for both of those angles. So let's go and take a look here at where those two angles be if we are going to evaluate them on the unit circle. Well, 225 degrees, uh, we know that's going to be 45 past 180, right? So if here's 180 degrees, to get to 280, I can add an extra 45. And that would give me 225. This coordinate point is negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative square root of 2 over 2. Right? Now remember, the tangent of an angle is equal to your y over your x. So we look at this, and since we have y over our x in this point, we know that our answer is going to be not 1 over 1, but equal to 1. All right. Um, for the next one, if I have for 30 degrees, we're going to angle right there. And that coordinate point is square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. So to do tangent of that angle, we're going to have 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Rationalize your denominator. We get square root of 3 over 3. Right? So now, all we're simply going to do is plug in our values for tangent of uh, v, and here's tangent of u, right? That's tangent of u, that's tangent of v. So let's just plug them in. Well, first of all, let's go and plug them in for our, our formula here. So the tangent of 225 degrees minus 30 is equal to the tangent of 225 degrees minus the tangent of 30 degrees all over. 1 plus the tangent of 225 degrees times the tangent of 30 degrees. Now, like I said, over here we evaluated for them. So now the tangent of 225 degrees is 1 minus the square root of 3 over 3 <coughs> divided by 1 <coughs> plus tangent of 225 degrees is 1, and the tangent of 30 is square root of 3 over 3. OK, you see what I did for right now? Basically, the only thing that I really worked on was evaluating for my points and then now plugging them in. Now we have to work on a little bit more of our algebra skills to kind of get this simplified. So the main important thing I notice is I can multiply this off. This is going to be 1. But I need to get these fractions off the bottom. right? I, I don't like having dividing by the square root of 3 on the top and bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 3. And that's perfectly fine. As long as you're doing it to a fraction, you're doing it to the top and bottom. Because think about like 2 fourths. That's equal to, that's the same thing as if you multiply the top and bottom by um, 3, that would be uh, um, 6 twelfths. Is that still equal to 2 fourths? 6 twelfths equal to 2 fourths? Yeah. So as long as you can so as, as long as you multiply the top and bottom by the same number, you're going to be fine. So therefore, now I get 3 minus the square root of 3 over 3 plus the square root of 3. Well, no, it's not going to cancel it out. Um, but what we do need to do to get rid of this now is now we need to rationalize the denominator. So to do that, I need to multiply by 3 minus the square root of 3 on your top and bottom. And when you multiply, uh, put those in there. Multiply here, you notice this is a difference of two squares. So uh, let me just go over here. So now on our uh, new denominator, we're going to have 9 plus 2, uh, I'm sorry, minus, that's a negative, minus 2 radical 3. And then that's going to be plus 3. All I'm doing is I'm doing FOIL. 3 times 3 is 9. Um, uh, I messed that up. That's going to be 6. 
Let me just show my work so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. 3 minus square root of 3 times 3 minus square root of 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative 3 is a negative 3 square root of 3. 3 times negative square root of 3 is a negative 3 square root of 3. And negative square root of 3 times negative three square root of 3 is going to be now a positive 3. So therefore, I end up getting 12 minus 6 square root of 3. Does everybody see that? What I did? <coughs> Just doing FOIL. Negative 3 square root of 3, negative 3 square root of 3 becomes negative 6 square root of 3. 3 plus 9 is 12. So let me rewrite that answer. So that's going to become 12 minus 6 square root of 3. Then if I was going to FOIL the bottom two, remember this is a difference of two squares. So I don't need to get through the whole, I don't need to do everything like this because see how these, the two middle terms added up? Now these two middle terms are going to cancel out. So I can just do the first two, which is 9. And then I can just do the last two, which is going to be minus 3, which is equal to 6. Now I can divide the 6 into both of these terms. Therefore, my final answer is 2 minus the square root of 3. OK? That's it. Do you see, Jason, where you maybe like change?